Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to my first F123 video today. I'm going to be showing you guys around F123 a little bit. We're going to be doing a 35% race around Silverstone against 110% AI. Because why not? We can. We just can. Let's head into a little Grand Prix around the beautiful Silverstone circuit. Silverstone has been changed on f123 by quite a lot but before we go into that let's have a quick little look at all the cars in f123 the red bull ferrari mercedes alpine mclaren alfa romeo aston martin haas Tauri, and the williams but we're going to be driving with uh, lewis hamilton around the beautiful silverstone circuit one of my well on f1 game not favorite tracks but in real life i used to be very good at it difficulty of course 110 percent ai and before we go into that of course the quick little changes that have been made 35 percent race in there new setting as well collisions off for the first lap only so that if you're doing an open lobby and you don't want to get shunted out in the opening lap straight away. You can turn that on so that you don't get shunted off and your race is immediately over. <laughs> now, before we go into the race, I just want to show you guys the new setups. Now, of course, we've got a 50 to 0 on the wings, which we had on F122 as well. But on the suspension, we've got 41 options now. On the roll bar, we've got 21. And on the right side, we've got 20 options which means much more options to suit the setup to your driving style. Uh, another change is the tire pressures. Every click is now 0.1 PSI, so you can go much more precise on the tire pressures. And before we go into the race, I just wanted to say quick shout out to EA for giving me the preview build. Let me know what you guys want to see in future videos as well. Make sure to comment that down below. But now let's head into the race. I wouldn't be myself if I would go for soft medium. Uh, we're going to be boxing lap 10 more or less. And you can see there the lap time versus tire wear is not linear anymore. Uh, of course, in real life, if you bolt on a new set of tires, you instantly get a lot of lap time. But yeah, this is interesting. It seems like driving 70% of the race on hearts is not the fastest way anymore, which I love because now we're going to be able to see a lot more different strategies in league racing and F1 esports. Setup wise, I've gone for preset 4 and added on some front wing for a bit more rotation. So onto the formation up we go. A lot of people ahead of us on um, the softs. Now, as you can see in the bottom right, I've just moved my cam up. So weather for... shouldn't play a factor today. We're expecting it to remain dry. Shut your ass through. up. No shit, I put it on clear, mate. Anyway, default setup now is 63% brake by. So you might be thinking, whoa, that's really far forward. But on F123, we're not going to be using 50% brake bias anymore. Finally, after so many years, 50% brake bias is gone. Uh, the range I reckon we're going to be driving with is between 53 and 60. Differential still 55%, which is fine, of course. We're going to be using 55% brake bias for this race. Um, so yeah, why not? Feels all right. Another thing that they have changed to this game. Tires are currently way too cold, of course. We're going to have to do some weaving to warm them up. Basically, each tire compound that is, has a different tire temperature window. So... These are the C2 tires, which is the second hardest compound. They will uh, warm up probably around 90 degrees, I think so. They will be completely warm. Now the C1 will be like a few degrees higher again. And then the softest compound will be pretty much warmed up uh, when you reach 85 degrees. So they've changed that wall window. And also the um, limit at which point they overheat has changed. So basically they've just made it more realistic when it comes down to tires and tire temperature. Now, we're going to have to do some serious warm-up if we want to get them up to temperature. But, um, yeah, it's very interesting and a big improvement, in my opinion. Now, all the cars ahead of me on the softs, as you can see. So, they're going to be faster off the line. What's Blood doing? What line is that, Lance? What are you doing? Anyways, look at the throttle input of the line. Initially, to get them up to the right rev range, 50% throttle. And gonna be full throttle by the time you upshift to third gear. Now that's crazy because F122, you basically were on 
20% throttle, the line 30% throttle. So huge change there, and you've got so much more traction. Now, down the inside of those cars, of course. Big sand. Let me go around the outside of Piastri here. I'm a bit wide through there. Piastri going side by side. Joe up there. Oh, he slowed down a lot there, but we're going around the outside. Piastri up next, up to P13. Big sand there. Of course, if we want to go to um, first place, we're going to have to do a lot of overtaking. Um, yeah, AI uses a lot of ERS on this game in the opening lap. It's not like they're super OP on the straights. I've gone a bit wide there. The tires are still a bit cold, I think so. No, actually, they're up to temperature already. Um, we've gone for preset 4, which is a lower downforce setup. Um, and I've added on a few clicks of front wing to get rid of that um, standard understeery default setup kind of feeling. Um, even though F123 has so much less understeer than F122. Um, yeah, straight trying to go for a move again. Leave me alone, please. First impressions of F123 are much more traction um, and much more rotation on entry. It almost feels like currently with this default setup I've got more rotation than with my eSport setups on F122. Um, and that's of course what a lot of people complain about, the entry and the steer and the traction. Now as you can see there as well, we are on low downforce preset. Cops. Is that cops? Yeah, it's cops. That is cops, right? It is. Easy flat out through there, which was never possible on F122. So, they've improved on that aspect so much. And you're taking cops flat out. Nonetheless, the lap times are slower. So, it's like they've balanced it out so much better, so much more realistic. Um, I think you're just way slower in the slow speed corners even though it's balanced out more the overall grip in the low speed is less mid corner um, yet you have way more traction so it, the whole car balance is so much better so much more drivable and as you can see there entry it's actually turning and we're on 53 55 brake bias if i move it to 50 we're obviously going to be locking the rear um, but it just shows that it looks to me we are rid of the F122 entry understeer and the car is actually turning again. Alright, we're finally gonna get some DRS here. We need to start making some moves. You can see that that slipstream effect is so much stronger. At least that's what I felt like. I've of course done more races than just this one already to get a feel for the game. And to me, it seems like the slipstream effect has definitely increased, but I might be wrong, of course. Oh, I'll come back around the outside. Let's take it towards the chicane. Seems like the Ferrari up front is pulling away the rest of the grid. Up to P11 we go. We're definitely going for a mover. Might be a bit late, but... He kind of is. Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake, use overtake. Yeah, let me do the driving, mate. You stick to the engineering. We go for a lunch here. Oh, look the rears. Gasly leaves the space. He ate this. Alonso, you're mine. Of 
go for a move on science. Ten laps to go at the end of this lap. Oh, some people boxing. From softs onto mediums or hards, I reckon. Me my mediums are starting to drop up quite heavily as well. Leclerc is stopping now. As I said at the start of the video, the tires have changed quite a lot. But however, we're gonna be keep we're gonna keep going for two laps extra, and you're gonna be able to see how aggressive that undercut is gonna be, how much you gain with a fresh set of tires, um, which is gonna be huge. A lot of understeer heads through there. Stop unboxing Norris as well. All right, Leclerc basically gained one to one point five seconds in the last lap. One second, I think so. It's time to box. Understood. Stopping this lap. For our new set of softs. Um, I don't remember what the pit delta is around Silverstone, but let's see if we can still win this race. It's gonna be seven laps to go. Right here. Eleven laps done. New set of softs. Okay, off we go, back into the race. I'm still not Perfect a fan. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Thanks, mate. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm still not a fan of that turning into the pit box, but whatever. New set of softs. They are cold, of course. 70 degrees coming out here. But... Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. The grip is so much more. There's so much more grip on cold tyres. And you can see, we can basically straight away battle. Grip is not optimum, of course, but... It's not impossible to drive anymore. It's a huge improvement, in my opinion. Um, again, this helps with undercuts as well. And okay, you're in the top ten. It gives more options with strategies. You can see there, the grip is not optimal, but you're not losing seconds anymore. You may be losing half a second to a second, depending on tire compound, instead of losing three seconds on the outlap. Um, you can actually set purple sectors straight away on your outlap. If you uh, really tried. Oh, we're really close to Alonso here. Let's try to go and carry speed into the DRS zone. Turn on the overtake button. Alonso goes a little bit offensive, but not enough. We're gonna go for a move on all these cars. Oh, it's beautiful. The DRS and ERS combination is super powerful. We had a four car at Slipstream as well. And we are on low wing, so absolute rocket ship of a car there. Russell on issue, where is he? Oh, he's behind us. Oh, what's going on here? A little bit of DRS chicken between the AI, maybe? Oh, they actually touched. Well, let's go for an absolute beautiful switchback again. With the help of some slipstream from Verstappen. No overtake button enabled this time around. Just slipstream. He's coming back at us. Verstappen. Let's go for the fast lap, by the way. Here is enabled. Overtake on. Two second gain, I think, so to Leclerc. On the last lap. And that's what I meant with going longer into your scent get the advantage later on. We're gonna get some beautiful DRFs and this shouldn't be too hard of an overtake. We still got more grip on the set of shots. A bit of dirty air on the exit. We're not even gonna have to use or overtake. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you very much, Charles. But that's not ideal because there's still 3.2 laps to go. Now we're fine. Final lap. Half a lap to go. Or two sectors to go, I should say. However, a little surprise for Leclerc. We're about to gap him. Sarnaya, sucker! Oh, 
you're draining our battery right there. Oh, he's actually still pretty close. Probably draining his battery as well. Anyway, that was our first F1. Yes, you've done it! You've done it! Well done! Great stuff, mate! Great stuff! Sure, mate. Hope you guys enjoyed our first last of first challenge on F1 23. Hope you guys got a little insight on the F1 23 game. Make sure to subscribe for the content that's going to be coming the coming weeks on F1 23. Make sure to comment as well what you guys think I should do next on F1 23. And yeah, see you guys next time. Ciao!